think someone should tell him that there's not a ball on that tee. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> oh, great shot. Nice. Great shot. Woo. Oh, just... Kevin may be able to do a sub two and a half minute run, but it's hitting a golf ball. Yeah. 28 years old, never been to a driving range, so we, we brought him to a driving range this morning. Yep. Having a blast. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when it goes like this. Jeff has joined us this morning, but he had about five swings and he's done his back in. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe he did while he was coaching. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm the coach. Yeah. <laughs> Tough morning of fitness. Yeah, it was hard. I can feel my left shoulder and my right shoulder a little bit. Should have warmed up. And they say CrossFit makes you injured. <laughs> yeah. Or well, maybe it was a toaster, but I can feel my core a little bit. For the news. I'm gonna take the middle of this vlog as the news. Unfortunately, I love my Tim Rishi mug, so I keep using it too much, so I don't have it today. You had one job, Richie. Gonna start off with a bit of light humor. Matt Fraser the other day got asked, How do you feel about the new changes in the new qualifying procedures? This was the video that Sammy sent us. And two, if you still don't follow the Instagram account, which uh, you 100% you should, is Make Wads Great Again, formerly known as CrossFit Trump, he has put out a, uh, a multitude of dogs which look like CrossFitters. This reminds me of something actually. So uh, the 11th Street Diner, South Beach. Miami. A couple of major things that have happened over the, the last couple of days. We've seen the start of the 2019 CrossFit Games season, believe it or not, with the qualifiers for Wadapalooza and the qualifiers for the Dubai Fitness Championships. As we said in the previous video, the Dubai Fitness Championships sent out a few invites to previous winners. Matt Fraser, Sigma's daughter, Sarah's daughter, Sarah's daughter? Who is Sarah's daughter? And why is she competing? And on the Wadapalooza side, we've seen the invite to the top 20 games athletes from both categories. So, so on the Water Palooza site, there's been a lot of invites. That's why when looking at the actual qualifications and the leaderboard for the Water Palooza, you know, like there's not many games athletes in there. Whereas if you actually look at the Dubai Fitness Championships, because they haven't invited many athletes, we have a insane roster of athletes that are competing and that are out there doing the qualifiers. We have two of the Smiths, a few other games athletes, and then uh, up there with them is Kevin Winkin. <laughs> and Casper Gammelmark, both in qualifying positions after week one. This year, if you didn't know the Dubai Fitness Championships purse, if you click on the Dubai Fitness Championships and you go to prizes, through the online qualifiers alone, there's $83,000 worth of cash prizes. Payout per workout during the finals is $165,000. Final cash prize is $268,000. So total cash prizes is $616,000. That is on a par, if not higher, than the CrossFit Games. It's crazy, Matt Fraser might be getting two big paychecks this year. You think you're fucking with, I'm the Couple of notable mentions with the Dubai Fitness Championships too is that Laura Harvar won the first and second qualifying workout. And actually Jacob Hepner, the guy that we love on this channel, took first place in 18.2. Recently released a video. If you, this didn't make you smile, then why? Basically recently. Sounds weird. Basically recently. Put a beat to that. That'd, that'd be. Basically recently. Basically recently. I sound like Eminem. Basically recently. Basically recently, I sound like Eminem. Recently, Hepner went over to Gran Canaria, shot loads of drone footage, and then also offered out his services to bring Winston the Corgi if he ever shot you some drone footage. But he spent a week doing a training camp with Bjork, and uh, he's found a new love for Icelandic music. <laughs> If there's any weird tracks out there, team, that you just think are absolute bangers and that no one's heard of, please put them down below. I will personally listen to them. And if I like them, I'll put them on this video. You know I like country music, so I'm down for anything. I wasn't going to show this, but I thought I would. I've just gone and got a load of Nutella on a spoon, and I'm going to eat it. What does life come to? <laughs> Oh, 
of the best things in the world. And to finish off today's news, until we move on, <laughs> and to finish off today's move, move, move. God, my mind is all over the place today. Okay, to finish off today's news and go back to the vlog, we've had four more sanctioned events announced. And the amazing news is three of them are in Europe and within flying distance from myself and Jazz, only like an hour away. The ones we've had announced are the CrossFit Italian Showdown, which is in Milan, which is gonna be in April 2019. That's just gonna be individuals only, no team. The CrossFit Lowlands Throwdown in the Netherlands, May 2019. And finishing off Europe, the amazing news for the UK is that we have a sanctioned event. It's strength in depth. Usually known for the teams of 15. In November, myself and Jazz are part of a team of 15 CrossFit lace makers going against other teams of 15 in a big kind of battle off. But this year, there's actually going to be teams and individuals here in London. I'm excited to see the caliber of athletes that will turn up. I keep updating this map, but if you look at the map, that is a hub of events all around Europe. And to be honest, I think it kind of reflects the growth and the participation throughout the Open and through CrossFit over the last couple of years. And then the fourth sanctioned event to be announced is the South Fit CrossFit Challenge in Buenos Aires, Argentina. So if you look at the map now of announced actual CrossFit events for next year, it looks like this. Notably, nothing is in Australia yet. I'm sure there'll be one there. There's nothing in the Asia region that he really wanted to kind of hit home at when we're looking at China and India and a possible emerging market for CrossFit. And there's also no sanctioned events that have been put out there yet in Canada. And also we haven't seen any in the Scandinavian regions. Notably on that map, Iceland doesn't have a sanctioned event yet, but I have heard that there is gonna be one there at CrossFit Reykjavik. But I can't put it on there until it's been announced. Also, we still haven't seen a rule book from CrossFit. We'll oh, take the open. selfie. Oh. Here, you take that when it's open. This. It hurts and my I'll hand. take a quick selfie. You ready? All right, ready? Okay. They keep kind of swerving and dodging. And... Okay, right. smile. Do we have it? Wait, yeah. oh, no. the no, angle. Go to the edge. Wait, wait, the angle. Go to the edge. Oh, oh. oh. The ACLU used to care about the rights of accused, but with Kavanaugh, well, they spent a million... But anyway, that has been today's news. If you have enjoyed it, as always, smash that like button. We're going to go back to the normal vlog now. And just a little quick one, if you haven't picked up any of the Hustle Made merch and you really fancy picking up some Hustle Made merch, we are live right now for the next four days. Everything is limited stock. Probably going to sell out pretty fast. If you want to be part of the We Are Hustle Made family, don't miss out. Link is down below. Your support means the world. Back to the vlog. Bye, out. Yeah, good. Good yeah. to be back. He's back for this one episode. Smash that like button for Malk. Can we get 2,000 likes for Malk? Go. Pure magic. No. Oh. Oh, what are you doing? It's a special touch. Oh, no, oh, no. no, I got it. It's the wrong way. <laughs> yep, that's the sandbag. Let your wet sand. <laughs> it's the wet sand, all right. Get it, get it. Today's ward is all of the carries. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> One. That one over here is bad. How to move? It's hot, right? Yeah. You just can't breathe on him. <laughs> <laughs> You feel like your lumbar's going? Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna lie. That's terrible. That's the worst carry I think I've ever done. I tested it before. Whose idea was this? Mine, Greg. Bad idea. I said one on one on the shoulder and one overhead. If you get you with a master. <laughs> <laughs> you take it by word. Master means that you're a perfection or everything. No! no. <laughs> means I'm old. <laughs> you feel that? Feels like your legs are shortening. Yeah. So you see you see yourself here like you're going like this. It's what I feel like when I do the dumbbell walks. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You know when you when you said we do it like this and then you have to stick to it? Yeah. This is the moment. Yeah. That's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> the first part was like with the salt bag was worse. That's the worst thing I've ever done. My lower back, just wanting to yeah. Who is having a great time? Woo! <laughs> oh. And have bread. Ready. <laughs> Warm down. I'm feeling like I might have earned maybe one or two spoonfuls <laughs> of ice cream. This is why you do this stuff, because I didn't know there was a gnome at the top of my street. <laughs> what should we name him, Jazz? Ah. Touch the nose. Touch the nose. Touch the nose. Norman. Norman. Norman lives at the top of my road. Hi, Norman. Never knew it. 
We're gonna give Kevin a so Kevin so dark? Kevin has been a great guy. Look, his boys too. Yeah. He's never played Fortnite before, so he's gonna play Fortnite now. But this is the Kevin dance. So Kevin, you need to stand by the TV and, and copy him. Stand by the TV and copy him. That's <laughs> difficult. Wait, give me one second. I wish I'd this one. Is it the same as German sausage? Uh, yeah, exactly the same. Like Jeff nailed it. It's perfect. It's like what the name says: it's German sausage. What's the moment of truth? No. Nice. On a rating of one to German, how German is it? Oh, good. June of German. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Look how happy my dad will be that Kevin ate a bit of German sausage. Watch this. He did! Good! Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, that's special. Thank goodness. Three, yeah. It makes Three, your biceps yeah. like Popeye. Good. I, I feel more German than before. Yeah, good. No, that's... Um. Ah! I got 13 degree burns! Give it, boy! You did the black voice thing with him? It's not a black voice. Not a black voice. You don't remember when you was in that meeting, you was like, we gonna get it lit up in here, this meeting lit. It was very lit. I keep it 100. When have I ever not kept it 100? Mm. Out of 10, Kevin, what would you rate the movie? It was a 10. It was really funny. It's finished now too. Yes. It's James. If you wanna buy the merch, the link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> It's out now. Good movie? Really good movie. Good movie. It was good. We laughed a lot. Well, I laughed a lot. Me and Kevin laughed a lot. <laughs>